thank you for tuning back in to Poem Praise 2, and peace be upon you. We're going to move right along the next extraordinary African American event is the Black Power Movement. And this is the information I have on the Black Power Movement. Now, the Civil Rights Movement of the 1950s and the 1960s was fueled by courage, determination, and the belief that the promises of American democracy would be made good someday. But violence and the resistance of white people to the movement unleashed anger, frustration, and resentment in the African American community. Now the development of African American political power and the gradual appearance of African American elected officials were a direct result of voter registration campaigns of the civil rights movement. Now it took years for these developments to become apparent. However, more rapid and visible progress was made in the desegregation of lunch counters, movie theaters, and other public places. But none of it came easily. As poverty and unemployment continued to gnaw at the African American community, the Black Power Movement came into being. Unlike the Civil Rights Movement, which was guided by a coalition of organizations such as CORE, SCLC, and the NAACP, and directed towards definite goals, the Black Power Movement was a loosely drawn jumble of organizations and individuals united by their rejection of white society and their appeal to the African American pride and black consciousness. Now, most noticeable of the groups identified with the Black Power Movement was the Black Panther Party. It began in 1966. It soon included 1,500 members and 38 chapters, based primarily in the large cities of the North and West. It helped establish daycare centers and provide free breakfast for poor people. Although its programs were not revolutionary, its rhetoric was. Now, the bitter accusations of its leaders against whites in general and the police in particular resulted in hostility and bloodshed. A number of Panther members were involved in shootouts with the police. Two leaders were killed in Chicago when dozens of police shot up their apartment. The police claimed they shot in self-defense, but later evidence threw considerable doubt on that claim. The black Muslims are the nation of Islam, a religious group, that preached black self-respect was also identified with the black power movement thanks to Malcolm X, its most eloquent spokesman. His murder by fellow Muslims in 1965 cost the nation of Islam much of its appeal, however. Another group involved in the Black Power Movement was the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNC. In 
CC. The student organization that had been created to help guide the sit-ins. By the late 1960s, some of the SNCC leaders, particularly Stokely Carmichael, refused to work any longer with whites. All these groups, though different in many ways, were similar in their anti-white statements and rejection of Martin Luther King Jr.'s nonviolent philosophy. It was a rejection that King found painful. Also upsetting to King were the riots that broke out in over a hundred cities in the late 1960s. The first took place in Watts, Los Angeles in 1965. Before it was over, 34 people were dead, 898 were injured, and 4,000 had been arrested. It was a set pattern that was to be repeated in the long, hot summers ahead. Now the riots shocked and frightened the nation. By revealing a depth of African-American resentment that went beyond criminals and radicals. Many widely respected blacks showed the same resentment. Heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali made his feelings plain when he refused to fight in Vietnam saying, no Viet Cong ever called me a nigger. Olympic medalist Tommy Smith and John Carlos raised their fist in black power salute as they were about to receive their medals in 1968. Black people across the country began wearing African clothes and natural hairstyles to express their pride. The slogans, Black Power and Black is Beautiful were heard everywhere. Although the Black Power movement was attacked by those who felt it destroyed white support for civil rights. It played a part in pursuing President Lyndon Johnson to declare a war on poverty. During his administration, dozens of programs were established to promote better health, education, jobs, and housing for poor people, many of them African American. Although some of the programs failed, many were successful. And this is the information I have for you on the Black Power movement. I would like for you to stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 because what's coming up next in our extraordinary African Americans is Marion Wright Edelman. Now she's a children's advocate during the time period of 1939. So certainly stay tuned and I'll be talking with you real soon about Miss Edelman. And until I talk to you again, be blessed. All right. Later, y'all.